Sarah and Raj, a couple in their mid-30s working remotely, have taken advantage of their new flexibility to invest in real estate across New Jersey. They own several properties, including their primary residence and a couple of rental units. They are interested in how to best manage these assets within their estate plan. Question, what, is the, what estate planning strategies should Sarah and Raj consider to effectively manage and protect their growing real estate investments? Well, first off, I would recommend that each of their investment real estate assets, not their primary residence, it's a personal use asset, but each of their investment properties be held in a separate limited liability company. Um, that Having each of these assets held in a separate limited liability company will insulate other assets that uh, Sarah and Raj would have from any potential claims of future creditors that might uh, bring an action against the owner of one of the properties. So at least this way, there is a silo around each of those assets and the only uh, assets that a potential creditor can attach to would be those assets inside the silo. Uh, depending upon the number of uh, investment properties that Sarah and Raj begin to accumulate, I would also suggest that each of those separate LLCs that owns the real estate uh, be held by a single holding company that would be owned separately or owned together between Sarah and Raj. What this does, it would eliminate the need to have each of those investment LLCs file a tax return because being owned by a single holding company, each of those underlying limited liability companies would be a single member LLC, which for income tax purposes is disregarded. So all the income would flow through up to the holding company and simply uh, would be reported uh, on a partnership income tax return that would be um, filed for the holding company because that's a company that would be owned by Sarah and Raj together as partners. Another uh, suggestion, because depending upon the number of uh, investment properties that they have, uh, Sarah and Raj may want to consider uh, establishing a separate management company to manage all of the different real estate ent entities. Uh, the management company would deal with issues of maintenance, it would deal with issues of uh, rent collections, uh, tenancies, leases, etc. Uh, the the owners of that management company, who could be also uh, Sarah and Raj, could derive uh, some type of income from that as well, uh, uh, whether it be distributions uh, or if one only one of them is, is the owner of that company, the other one can work there as an employee. So having that management company is one way of, of ensuring that uh, there's additional cash flow. And eventually, depending upon how these investments uh, begin to accumulate in value, uh, they can look to transfer uh, interest in the holding company uh, to trusts for the benefit of their children uh, and use that as a vehicle to begin uh, the, some of their estate planning and asset protection planning as well and shifting some of the, the wealth outside of their estate so that the accumulation can occur outside of the estate. That's another conversation. What if they're not married? Like they're a couple, but they're not married. Does that change anything? Uh, from a partnership perspective, no, it doesn't change anything except to the extent that if they're married, uh, then if they don't have a will, then the surviving spouse would have some rights under the laws of, of intestate. Uh, if they're not married, then, and if they die intestate without a will, meaning, then uh, the other partner could wind up uh, losing out uh, their interest or receiving their interest from the from the deceased partner, it would it would require that they do ensure that there be some kind of buy sell agreement, that there be some arrangement in the event of death of one of the partners that the other partner uh, take over or receive the benefits of the of the predeceased partner, assuming that's what their intentions are. If their intentions were that uh, let's say they're not married and and Raj dies before Sarah, and it's Raj's intentions that his children take his interest, then and that, that certainly would be the, the, the plan that he would have to make sure that he implements.